hey what's up what's up welcome to my channel journey to soul my name is z what is up everybody i am checking in with the collective checking in with you guys for aquarius season uh, we're going to get a quick intuitive message all signs included please like subscribe and share if you like the message and it resonates here all right happy birthday to all my aquarians and welcome welcome to all my new subscribers okay so yeah we're gonna tap right into the message here um and see what is going on we're gonna pull from the kipper um in which i have mixed with the lenormand here okay so yes yeah, divine feminine i see somebody still up to the same old shit here same old games this karmic riding by your house here, following you to work, following you from work here, okay? Sheep, herd mentality, everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go, seriously, okay? Um, I heard that, you know, somebody needs to be worried about that fraudulent ass PPP loan that they pulled in a couple years ago, okay? Somebody need to get Google I was about to say giggle. Okay, somebody could think it's funny. All right, but somebody need to Google um, the penalty, the sentence for that here. Okay, like somebody has a lot of time on their hands yet and still. Okay, this has been one, two, three, four, five years for some of y'all. Okay, riding by your house, child. Anyway, divine feminine and divine masculine here. Um, I do see someone wanting to come towards you here with some type of gift here. Okay. Um, it could be flowers here, but you know, I just feel like it's something to adorn you here. I don't know. I feel like somebody wants to give you your, your flowers, like figuratively speaking here. All right. Adorn you. That's what I'm getting here. Right. I feel like you have a lot of luck. A lot of luck is on your side here. Um, I personally don't believe in luck. I mean, per se. Okay, I just think it's all about being blessed here. But you got the four leaf clovers here and the moon card here. Okay. Yeah, let's see what's going on. Let's see what is going on with you guys. Aquarius season had that full moon um, in Leo a few days ago. All right. Let's tap in and see what's going on. And then we'll get into the tarot. Damn, coffin. Transformation. Courthouse. Ooh. What is going on here? All right, child. Did somebody write you a letter here? What is going on? Okay, it could be a, a, a feminine energy here that's going to the courthouse or in the courthouse here. Okay, something about an ending, a death here. All right. Could be dealing with the Scorpio, but it's definitely about a transformation topping off this reading here. Okay, a little grim, a little grim here. Okay, it could be something about a grim war. Courthouse though, all right. See what's going on. 19, 29, 23. Those numbers could be significant here. All right. Mm-hmm. Someone could be wearing a mask to court here. Beware of that. We definitely have an ending. I'm sorry. I was a little I was a little taken back by how they just slapped that on the table here. All right. Somebody could be going to court over um a literal death here. All right. Hmm. Let me see what's going on. It could be probate court here about, you know, somebody's will inheritance here is also what I'm getting here. Okay. The cross at the top of the deck here. Okay. And the, ma ma oh, geez, the magician at the bottom of the deck here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Unfortunately, um, it could have been someone who is, who stands at the podium here, perhaps. Okay. Somebody who is really religious here. All right. I feel like somebody's mask fell off. It slipped off here. Okay. They could have slipped into another realm here. We'll see. Okay. We're not going to get too besides ourselves here, but there's some interesting energy coming on here. Okay. Mm hmm. Very interesting. Could have been a preacher or a pastor here, clergyman, some type of religious figure here. Okay. Or this could speak to, you know, some type of order here. Okay. With that cross energy. All right. Uh, fraternity organization here all right you know something where an oath or you know is taken here okay some type of order let's get a few more damn mm -mm -mm. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then I got the four leaf clover again here. Okay. Somebody definitely could have left you guys something here with the cross at the bottom of the deck. Very um, peculiar here. Okay. Very interesting community at the top of the deck here. All right. Mm-hmm. Something going on with the foundation here. Okay. Somebody could be sightseeing. You could be traveling at this time here. All right. See what's going on here. What else? What's next here? All right. I'm going to go into these here. Um, Island Time Wellness Oracle cards here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Definitely getting the energy of a rebirth here. Something had to die down to be born again here. Okay. Uh, you were dealing with a girl with a snake here in the past here. Damn, I got two snakes. Ain't this a bitch? <laughs> I got two snakes here. Snake at the bottom of the deck and girl with the snake coming up in past energy here. Somebody could have been in a snake pit here. Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So you could have been dealing with an um, narcissist in the past. Um, ooh, in the past, whether it was a male or a feminine energy here. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's at the top of the deck? We got healthy choices here, making healthy choices and love and life, self-love, self-care, being happier here. Okay. So this is about, um, you moving forward here. Okay. Uh, making healthier choices and love, just as it said here, don't go back to this snake here. Okay. This person that wanted competition, um, you know, they were a, a hidden enemy here. Okay. Thought they were clever, malicious. Look over your shoulder. The other woman here. Okay. So this could be about you choosing yourself or choosing a different lover here, but definitely not going back to this person that was a snake in your life here. Okay. I feel like they were the worst of the worst here. Okay. So making healthier choices. I'm going forward here. That could also be what the coffin is about. Okay. Okay you know, an ending to a relationship, an ending to a cycle here. Okay. You're letting something die down here. Okay. Yeah. Top of the deck. I have heart with the key, welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together. Um, perfect here. Okay. So yeah, definitely having to let something go here. Okay. Um, in the previous energy, previous reading, I was picking up on a free fall, the full to the death card here. Okay. So, you know, releasing, letting go here. Okay. Trusting in, you know, the divine and the universe here to catch you here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Twin flames here. I like you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's definitely giving, you know, gaslighting here with, I like you at the bottom of the deck, twin flames at the top. That's just the first thing I heard here. I'm going to get one more. Okay. Okay. The chaser. Mm-hmm. The sword and the rose here. Okay. Somebody's running from the truth here. Okay. Mm hmm. You could have been the chaser at one point here. Okay. But there's been a lot of truth and clarity here. Um, that's came through in a situation. I feel like you're running for the heels here. Okay. And somebody is running from the truth here. Clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, um, honor, protection, and power here. Mm -hmm. Chase on a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. So two opposite sides of the spectrum is what I'm getting here. Okay. So I feel like somebody did not learn a lesson here. So this is why we're starting off with the coffin. Okay. Um, someone's time is up here. Okay. It, it's done for. All right. See what's going on with this courthouse energy and this religious figure here. Okay. Um, you know, with this four leaf closer here, I'm here and pushing up daisies. Somebody could be literally transitioning here. Okay. You know, let's get real. I hate to say that the higher for energy with the wheel of fortune. So divine timing here. Okay. Something must be done the right way. Okay. Fairness and balance must be brought into a situation here. Okay. Mm-hmm. See what's going on. Queen of Wands stepping out here. All right. Could be taking a risk here with the Wheel of Fortune here. Yes, Seven of Pentacles here. I'll tell you right now, I feel like somebody's been thinking long enough because the Wheel of Fortune is here. The Wheel of Fortune is here. So I think it's about, I feel like it's about right now <clears throat> stepping out on faith here, taking that risk here. Okay. 
fortune favors the bold here king of wands so we're talking about counterparts here okay definitely talk about and talking about <laughs> an energetic match is what i'm seeing queen of wands and the king of wands here okay so this could be your twin flame here all right just because it's a match doesn't mean that you know this is the one going forward here okay we'll see yeah, I feel like somebody's definitely celebrating at this time here, okay? you Again, you could be traveling to see friends here, all right? Well, if we're heavy with that Wheel of Fortune, you could be dealing with the Sag here since we've got this energy of um, fire here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here, okay? The snake is on the move though, okay? Could be this Emperor energy here with the Ace of Wands. Child, please, okay? So it's a masculine energy here. Could be, you know, it's taking action here. This person could be, you know, making their way towards you here, okay? But, you know, they got they, they thing in their hand here, okay? I'm going to just put it like that, okay? Um, yeah. Someone is still, you know, deeply rooted in the lower chakras here, okay? They could be having some blockages when it comes to their chakras here, okay? But they're very um, passionate about you here. This person could want to travel towards you here, Okay. Mm -hmm. This person has people tied up in the background. I don't know what that's about here. Okay. This person could be trying to manifest you as well here. All right. This person is trying to get some action here with the eight of wands energy, but they're coming up as a snake here. Okay. So this is this lover that you left behind here. Okay. This is also, you know, part of this coffin energy here. You letting this cycle come to a close because it needed to here. Okay, the fool with the king of swords here. Yeah, that's not going to work here. Okay. Mm-hmm. I feel like you could be in this king of swords energy here. Um, somebody possibly wants a new beginning here. This is also, you know, the song and dance that they are, they're going to play in. Okay. The mask that they wear here with this fool energy. But this person is from your past. There's nothing new about it. Okay. This is the snake. Someone's trying to reinvent themselves, revamp themselves. Um, and I just don't think it's going to work here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here he comes with the Knight of Cups energy here. So, you know, whether you're a feminine or a masculine energy, you're, you're taking on this King of Swords here. Okay. Thanks, but no thanks here. Um, that era is done, I heard. That cycle is done here. Okay. Put a fork in it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 444 here, okay? So this is a lesson that's coming towards you here, okay? You could be being tested at this time, but this person is being rejected here, okay? So they're deciding to manifest you back. Some of them could even be praying here, okay? But they haven't done the work because they're still coming up as a snake, very immature, okay? Wanting to compete in your energy. Some of them want to pay you back here for this four of cups rejection energy here, very petty here. Okay, but they're adamant here uh, with the Eight of Wands energy. So, but you know, beginning of this reading, we have the coffin card here, and you know, I feel like that's the universe, that's your spirit guides, that's your ancestors, that's the divine putting a lid on it here. Okay, so I just feel like somebody's wasting their time. Just saw thirteen forty four here. Yeah, strength card coming up sideways and past energy here so you know in the past you could have been weak for this person weak for this energy here okay um i definitely feel like this person is feeling like that now okay they're losing strength here um but they want to come towards you here okay because they can't get over you okay they can't get over you they can't get past uh the separation here but they're still in the same energy here all right mm-hmm yeah, this player energy that you was dealing with, heavy with the fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person had a lot of secrets here. A lot of secrets here, okay? Mm -hmm. And they just hanging around, playing games here still, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They refuse to move on. Okay, again manifest trying to manifest you back into their life here back on their timeline here okay mm -hmm. yeah here's the will of fortune again here mm -hmm. 
Could be dealing with the Pisces. Could be dealing with the Sag here. Heavy with this Pisces energy here. All right. Mm hmm. Let's let's get another deck here. Okay. I'm gonna tell you right now, this person is, is starting to get on my nerves already. Okay. Yeah, they don't want to accept that it's a new cycle here. A new era has begun here. Okay, a new saga. Damn. Yeah, here they come with the page of cups while you in the six of swords energy here. Okay. Going, going, gone here. And here they come with the page of cups. Real immature. Okay. <laughs> like, mm -mm, you're gone. Mm hmm. This is also somebody who could have their eyes on your riches. Yes. And as I say that, Ten of Pentacles at the top of the deck, Seven of Wands coming out here. Okay. Yeah. You need to block this person here. They could be an opportunist here. Okay. With their eyes on your riches here. Okay. Yeah. Ace of Wands here. Yeah. This is what this person is hot and passionate for. Your stability here, your prosperity, your abundance here. Don't let this person fool you. That's why they're coming up as the snake here. Okay. Mm hmm. Somebody thinks that they're God's gift. Um, I heard to man, um, to, to, to woman here. Okay. King of wands. I'll be damned. I'll be damned. <laughs> this person, it landed on heart with the key. Okay. Like, and again, the heart with the key is all about new energy, welcoming, love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together. Perfect. This person, again, this person wants to reinvent themselves. Okay. Uh, repackage themselves as the one here. Okay. So, mm -hmm. yeah, the hermit reverse for wands reverse, um, judgment reverse and the world card reverse here. Okay. Coming up in future energy here. Um, this is what you get if you go forward with this person here. Okay. You're stuck in a repetitive loop here with the world card in reverse, which means you did not learn a lesson here. Okay. You do this, this coffin card, you do not want to open up this casket here. Okay. This person is going to have to stay in it. Leave the dagger in the vampire here. Okay. The hermit in reverse. Again, you have two cards here that symbolize a lesson that has not been learned here. Okay. Extreme ignorance here. Okay. Yeah. And then, you know, that's the mistake here with these, this, um, the judgment card in reverse and four of wands. This means, you know, losing your stability here, losing, you know, your foundation. Okay. Your foundation being shaken up here. Okay. Mm -hmm. And again, this person has your eyes, has their eyes on your riches here. And they're very childish wanting to reach out here with the page of wands here and breadcrumb you here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. This person has a lot of people in the background here. Okay. Uh, it feels like flying monkeys, like minions, people who work for them here, but I don't feel like they're the boss here. Okay. Because the energy that they're coming up in is just too petty for that. All right. Yep. Someone from your past here, uh, four of cups, four of swords with the three of swords here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, again, I'm hearing, you know, a rejection of perpetual youth here, okay? So, standing your ground and rejecting this deception here, okay? You could have already been through the ringer with this person here, four of swords with the three of swords energy here, okay? You're just not interested in repeating this cycle. Someone does not want to take no for an answer here, okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they could be even be a little bitter, a little sour here about you rejecting them here. Okay, like they're mad because you're rejecting a snake here. Okay, child. Yeah, a snake definitely wants to connect here. Okay. Mm -hmm. This person could have a family in the background here. They're leaving their family uh, for a moment in time to travel towards you is what I'm getting, child, please. Okay, yeah, high priestess just came out here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, strength card here with the two of wands. Mm hmm Yeah. You've already made your decision here. Yeah, ten of swords with the two of swords and the high priestess just came out. Uh, triple confirmation. I don't know what fell to the floor here, okay? This person already got a family, okay? A little dog, a little cat here, probably two children. White picket fence here, and they're trying to come towards you here. So this is somebody who thinks they're the in-all, be-all here. Okay. Um, could be someone, you know, of uh, a different background here. 
um, belief, you know, cultural differences here. Okay. Cause I'm trying to see why are they so confident and adamant about coming towards you when they married child, you know what? Mm -hmm. Someone has a decision to make here. Okay. They could be hesitating here because they, you know, they know of your strength here. Last spread. I'm going to see what fell to the floor and that's it. Yeah. Three of wands reverse here. No, it's not happening here. Death card. Okay. Where we started off at. Okay. The cycle has been complete here. Okay. Um, we end as we begin here. Okay. Sun card at the top of the deck still. Yeah. In the page of swords reverse here. Okay. Mm hmm. Cause I feel like somebody's message or, you know, advances got ignored here. Okay. Somebody could have got left on red here. Um, but you know, they got no business reaching out here, you know? Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. The full car right next to the eight of swords. I don't like it. This is all about a free spirit being in bondage here. You know? Okay. This person will stifle stifling your creativity here okay your freedom here all right mentally physically and emotionally here okay so all right collective that has been your reading thanks for watching my channel journey to soul bye